can't believe the last book of the Pentric Dragon series is out already. Finally, we get to find out what happens to the Mystic Princess. I can't wait to read it. Obviously, these guys can't wait either. Obviously, they've never heard of advanced copies. Let me do the talking. I can't believe he expects me to wait in line like, like, like them. Well, there's no other way. Unless you want to wait until the next shipment. What, so that everyone has read it before me? That is not an option. Miss Murphy, did you know that The Prince of Roth is being released at midnight? I did, Hannah, and I've already reserved a copy for the school library. We were wondering if, if we could have permission to go to the launch. Hannah! I'm sorry, but you know students are not permitted to wander the town at that time of night. Well, we wouldn't be wandering. We'd be in a shop. Absolutely out of the question. I'm sorry. I'll see you back at the school bus. Don't be late. I can't believe you did that. What? Asked permission. Now we can't go to the launch without disobeying a direct order. Well, sorry, but you said you didn't want to queue up with the peasants. That's beside the point. So yeah. Where are you going? Out. Why? I have to work in the restaurant tonight, and I need your help. Well, can't Brett do it? I've got things organised. What thing? Yeah, thanks. See you later. How are you going, sweetie? <gasps> wow! My Royal Imperial Highness to you. Well, of course, Mystic Princess. Forgive me. Your cloak. Thank you, Royal Imperial Dressmaker. Oh, Brett, I need your help tonight. Mum, I was going to watch the soccer. Since when have you been interested in the soccer? Oh, uh, since uh, sort of recently. Brett, I need you to take Meredith to the book launch. She's been looking forward to it for months. Yeah, well, it's Australia and Ireland, live from Dublin. Well, we can record it. Well, it's not the same, Mum. Does this mean I won't be able to go? I don't know, does it, Brett? Well, why can't Wayne take her? Wayne's gone out. <sighs> Typical. This means I can't enter the trivia quiz to win my very own copy signed by the author. Okay. <laughs> You're the best brother in the world. So if you win the trivia quiz, what do you get? First edition copy of the book, signed by the author. Oh, and you reckon that's going to be worth a lot of money? Pentric Dragon. <laughs> Duh. But you don't know enough about it to win. Well, yeah, that's why you're going to be hiding somewhere with book one and two and using the radio mic to tell me the answers. But that's cheating. That's right. I like it. Bringing up the projector in the study room so that we can watch the soccer match on the big screen. I thought you hated football. Well, I do. Well, uh, Brett wants to see it, and I can't resist a technical challenge. Call back. Mate, about the soccer match, Savo, I'm gonna have to miss out. Oh, why? I've got to take a friend to a book launch. Not Pentric Dragon. Yeah, yeah, she's dressed up like some character of a science fiction movie. Yeah, but that's not till midnight. I mean, there's plenty of time after the match. Yeah, but this is a special kind of pr preview type thing. It's, it's this afternoon. Wow. You must have very influential friends. <laughs> Actually, if you really want to watch the match, then I'll bring your friend to the launch. Yeah? It was like he was the author or something. Can you believe it? A shop assistant with attitude. So he didn't give you an advanced copy then? That's yeah. what I'm telling you. Everything's being released at midnight all around the world. There aren't any advanced copies. Maybe not. But if you uh, know the right people, you can get a preview. <laughs> and you're saying I don't? Trust me. Nobody is getting to see the Prince of Wrath before midnight. Hannah is. Is it true or isn't it? Sort of. When are you getting it? Um, this afternoon. Right. What time do we leave? We. Of course. Look, you can get hold of the book hours ahead of anyone else. And you think you're going without me? Tara, I have to go alone or I can't go at all. All right. But you'll have to get me a copy and get back here as soon as you can. 
I need to have read it by midnight. Tara, it's only fair. Look, you'll need someone to cover for you while you're away, won't you? Deal? <sighs> this is like... like the Mystic Princess's escape from the Fortress of Azio. Going through the secret tunnel to the castle ruins. Shea, shouldn't you go back? Well, I need to watch your back till you're out of here. Go on. Good luck. you were here. Well, listen, um, Brett's been held up, so I'm gonna take to the book launch, if that's okay. Sure, but you'll need more than that if you're going as a mud ward. Huh? Those little creatures that rescued the Mystic Princess from the bogs in book two. Oh. Right. Just putting a bit of dirt on your face isn't going to impress the judges. You know what? I think I'll forget about the whole costume idea. Come on. This would be great watching the soccer on the big screen. Provided I've got it wired correctly. I thought it was only being shown live on satellite. That's right, yeah. Yeah, and the, and the school doesn't have a satellite. No, but uh, Seamus does, and I tapped into his cable. Are you allowed to do that? Well, no, not really, but he'll never know, and uh, the picture will just be a bit fuzzy, that's all. You're not singing, you're not singing, you're not singing anymore. Today's big game is between Ireland and Australia. Go Ireland! The quarter-final of the Beneficiary Cup, and I've no doubt we're in for a mighty clash. Go! Come along, fantastic! Hey, it's all a sunny day outside, we're enjoying it here. Good yeah, Go on, Cormac, but are you, are you sure you're tapping to the right cable? Just needs a bit of fine-tuning, that's all. I can't believe that we're sending four people off to Paris. Where is that? Is that Italy? It is in Europe. It is in front of a big crowd. That's right, the one with the Eiffel Tower. Sucky, Sucky told me the capital of France. No! You've been pouring into the stadium to see our boys in green, facing off against the boys from down under. Paris is the capital of Ireland. Yeah, Paris is the capital of Paris. We're going to be sending four. Don't do this to me. Sucky, 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 Sucky,
Great. Australia scored. Yes! Come on, you little beauties. Anyway, yes, indeed. Excuse you. If I knew what was wrong with it, I wouldn't be phoning it, would I? I'm trying to watch the football, and all I'm getting is a kid show. All right. I'll try that, then. Bye. Well, we're not about them. Don't forget about the beavers as well. Oh, Bryce, you've got to be doing it for beavers. I'm telling you, you're absolutely brilliant. They are angry. They are angry. Exactly. But first one. Oh, well, I'm going to do it. Well, we've got his marmalade. Stop it, you all right? Do you all right, Sean? Well done. What? No. Do something. I'm trying. This is ridiculous. Yeah! Oh, whoa, the TV news are here. What? Maybe we'll be on TV. The whole of Perth will see us. Perth? Oh, that's okay. What? Perth TV. That's great. Yeah! Okay, everyone, it's less than an hour to go till you can get your hands on the Prince of Roth. Are we excited? To kick things off, we're going to go straight into our trivia quiz. Now, I hope you'll be reading the book. Have you? Because our winner will receive a copy of the book signed by Griswold Beck himself. Come on, Griswold Beck, everyone. OK, but first, I want to take a look at all the wonderful Pentrick Dragon costumes we have here tonight. Look at these fantastic costumes that we have here. I'm going to come on down and speak to you, and you can let the folks know at home how you put those costumes together, OK? Let's make sure the radio mic's working. Thank you. Testing, testing. Testing, one, two, three. One, two, three. Come on, come on, fix it. Oh, hold on. I believe we have a special reporter. What's going on? It's one all in the first half. This is the worldwide release of the latest Patrick Dragon Boo. This doesn't look like football. It would if Cormac could get his act together. Well, if you can do any better, go ahead. A lot of you. I'm interested in this. Yes, soon we'll be crossing live to Australia, where it's already approaching midnight to see some of the first fans get their hands on the book. The Mystic Princess escaped the Makarajuk's castle. That's right. By harnessing two giant bats to catch her yet. Yes, you're absolutely right. And flying over the Gugai I see. Yeah, good girl. OK, now who's next there? The questions were so simple. Oh, you'll make it through to the finals easy. Oh, isn't it great? All right, let's give each other a big round of applause for the costumes. Come on, everyone. All right, I'm going to go down there. OK, look at these amazing costumes here. Can you tell us how you put them together, please? You bought it? Good job, good effort. And yourself, did you make those wings? Uh, yeah, I did. Well, and the countdown is continuing, and we're going to count it down here on the day. Yes, and all the boys are going to watch. Be this way. quiet, Dragon will you? Dragon. I'm trying to hear this. So now, let's cross live to our Patrick Dragon report Ooh. from Perth, wow. Western Australia. Do you say Perth? OK, if you've just tuned in, welcome to our viewers from all around the world as we count down to midnight. <laughs> OK, we're down to just two contestants in our trivia contest. And here's the next question for the Prince of Roth. OK, what is the <laughs> capital of the land of Argilius? Um, what a dream. <laughs> no, I can't. Henry? Do you know him? Um, me? Get real out when I know a dork like that. I nearly got it. Yeah. It's, it's coming to me. The ball goes into the uh, forward line again. <laughs> Something uh, like... Uh, um, um, not again! Morgan Bay. That's correct, that's right! Okay, what is going on in here? I am waiting for an explanation. Well, Miss Murphy, I don't think I can give you one because the cable tap was supposed to work perfectly well with the digital IO vision switcher. What are you talking about, Cormac? We were watching the den, Miss Murphy, but it, it kept flicking over to the football. So annoying. Oh. 
I see. They were doing a report on the Pentrick Dragon Book launch in Australia. In Perth, where Brett is from. Really? Well, see if you can get it back, Cormac. Oh, no, 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 it's, it's okay. I, I don't want to see it. I do, Brett. This is a major literary event. I'd like a chair, please, Martin. Oh. We can all watch it together. That's correct, that's correct. So unfair. I'm going to be beaten by Wayne. He hates reading. He hasn't won yet. I can't believe he knows the book so well. Yeah, me neither. OK, it's total excitement here as the Prince of Roth goes neck and neck with a mystic princess. What is the name of the Tetric Dragon? Cyridian. That's right, that's correct! <laughs> OK, how many dragon ears guarded the gates of Azil? Uh, um, yeah. Just give me a minute, uh, it's coming to me. Uh, I can't find it. Is it something uh, like... Uh... This time, you'll stay up! Come on, we must have an answer. Hang on. Uh... Is it something to do with... You cheat! Ah! That sounded like Hannah's voice. What's going on? Oh. Oh. What happened? Sorry, I must have tripped over the cable. Well, plug it back in, quickly! I'm gonna drink you for this! Shaking in my boots. And the winner of our trivia contest tonight is... Meredith Page! <laughs> Meredith, is there anything you'd like to say to the audience? You've got the whole world watching. The whole world? It's true. We're going out via satellite to Europe, Canada, England and Ireland. Ireland? Really? Oh, no. Absolutely. Let's give a big Aussie hello to all our friends in Ireland. Hello! What's her name and where's she from? Hannah from Galway. Did she say Hannah? No, 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 Anna, Anna, no H. But from Galway? <laughs> There's a coincidence. And where is she? Just over there. Hello there. I'm a mudwort. What kind of idiot would appear on worldwide TV looking like that? A shy sort of idiot? OK, you know what time it is now? It's countdown at Dragon Time! Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one! Dragon Time! In the early centuries, the land of Argelius was torn apart by the war, and only the keeper of the Pentric Dragon could restore peace. This is my story. Griswold Beck himself! Well, that's how they're celebrating in Australia, and remember, it's only eight more hours to go before the book is released here in Ireland! Yes, right? it is! Go on, you good thing! Go on, you We're good counting thing. down! Yeah. Oh, Nobody does it better than us, gang! Come We're live! That's what the fuss is about. It's just a book. Just a book? Bet you're wearing your Manchester United underwear. I'm not wearing Bet you're wearing your mother's. Happy <laughs> to O'Brien. The O'Brien chap! They're going mad all over the country. They're going Bezerick. They're going Bezerick. No! That was just the best night ever. <sighs> yeah, it was. She looked really funny as a mudwort. Oh, she certainly did. You saw me. I could hardly recognise you, though. Hey, congratulations on winning. Thanks. How cool is this? My very own signed first edition. That is so cool. It's hot. I have to start reading it. Night, Hannah. Thank you so much for taking me. No problem. I have to watch this. Quick thinking. Great stuff. 
I panicked. How did you get your sign too? No. Everybody else did. But it might be a bit hard to explain if someone at O'Keefe saw it. Yeah. Life can be so unfair sometimes. But then it's unfair that you go to copy hours before anyone else. <sighs> it's not who you know. It's what you know. What are you watching? Mum recorded the soccer for me. Oh, Dr. Longford, you're a miracle worker. No, Dad. Oh, no. She's I'm always doing answer. this. What? You're the miracle. She recorded the wrong channel. I love you. And I you. Enjoy. Will we ever meet again? See ya. Perhaps we can be together somehow. About time. Did you get it? Oh, this is amazing. What on earth happened to your hair? Oh, um, I, I had to go through that tunnel, remember? Right. <laughs> okay, I'm off. I've got some serious reading to do. Uh, Tara, take it easy, please. Sorry, miss. What's that you got there? The Prince of Roth? How on earth? It, it, it got here early. <laughs> this must be the copy I ordered for the school library. The bookshop said that there was no way we could get it before midnight. But, miss, can't we read it? Please? Now, that wouldn't really be fair, Tara. No, let's go along with the spirit of the promotion. I'll keep it locked up till midnight. This is so terrible. After all we've been through. No, it's okay. I have a solution. I got a spare, just in case. Hannah, you're a genius! Next up on Pop Girl, Angus reveals that Solar Blue is under threat of closure in Blue Water High. <laughs>